and Gemini, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for May 2018, where we are getting ready for Uranus to move into Taurus. Venus comes into your sign this month. You get ready at the end of the month for birthday time. Gemini, you've got some stuff going on. So let's jump in right away, talk about it, and get you out and enjoying your pre-birthday time, okay? So there is a really big shift coming in the sky that we already talked about. That's Uranus moving into the sign of Taurus. For you, Gemini, this actually moves into your 12th house space, a very quiet, quiet space. And one of the things I think about with Uranus is that he's coming to tear down structures that were there already, beliefs, ideas, core level things. Like, and I'm not talking, you guys, little kind of ideas. I'm talking ideas that have been ground down in you and he's bringing them up and saying, those don't work, here's some new conceptions. So for you, one of the things that keeps coming up is that I think you're gonna be getting to the absolute root cause of some issues that you've been having, some fears, some worries, some anxieties, maybe even some behaviors. For some of you, I just keep getting this picture of caffeine. If you've been misusing caffeine or you just have too much of it in your diet and it's not allowing you to have that true calm down, I think that you get to start addressing some of these things that maybe you've been tug of warring with for just a little bit. But the whole idea here is that you're gonna wanna express your own individuality because you're gonna say, hey, we need to speak up, we need to speak out because I'm my own person, right? Now, one of the other things I just keep thinking of for you as well, Gemini, is that this could be a time where instead of doing a lot of talking and a lot of communicating, this could be a time where you're doing a lot of listening, right? You're going into a very hidden, quiet, place within yourself, your most private area that we have on the chart besides the eighth house. So it could be a time where you're really listening. You're listening in meditation. You're listening more to what other people have to say. You're not whipping around as much. You know, you're stopping. You're being very, very present. So I think it's going to be a really interesting time because what we find out when we start to listen and, and investigate this quiet space for us is sometimes we find out we have talents. We have gifts, we have beliefs, we have something we can bring out to the surface that's actually useful that we couldn't see until we let some things quiet down a little. So all of that action's gonna kick off for you. Um, oh, okay, so some of you may also, with this Uranian energy, be wanting to study or teach astrology, tarot, quantum physics, the matrix, at a social level. You may be getting yourself ready to do that. Oh, that is very exciting. But all of that excitement kicks off on the 15th. But well before that, at the beginning of the month here, on the third, we've got Mercury moving out of its shadow time. This is important. Please note it on your calendar because this means that Mercury is not held up by any kind of weird holdbacks, turnarounds, anything like that. We've got Mercury direct, straight on, giving us his full blessing and full attention. So you may find that communications are going better. You may find that decision making is a little bit clearer. And so enjoy the beautiful benefits of having this out of shadow time, just Mercury all the time energy, okay? On the 12th, Mars is going to move into his pre-retrograde period. And if you don't know about the retrograde pattern, what happens is the planet goes into pre-retrograde, it packs its bags to get ready to go, take a trip, take a nap, whatever you wanna call it. Then it goes retrograde, flips backward, takes that nap. Then it comes direct, comes forward facing again. But then it's got this last part of the shadow period where it has to unpack its bags from its trip. Mars is going to go into the first phase of packing on May 12th. This is important to understand because you may start to find that your actions are not hitting right where you want them to, right? You may find that your desires for things are shifting, are changing. You don't want it like you used to want it right? Your aggression level, your assertion level could come down a little or it may be adjusted. And that's just Mars is doing good. He's still useful, but he's going to start to slow down because he's got to slow down before he whips around to take that retrograde here in June. Okay. On the 13th, we've got Mercury moving into Taurus. On the 15th, we've got that new moon happening in Taurus along with Venus being in your sign. And then on the 15th, we've got Uranus moving into Taurus. So your 12th house gets very busy, Gemini, very reflective. You could have some secrets come out of the closet. Oh, family secrets. 
when Uranus gets to the 12th house. Let me tell you what, because it's unearthing things. It's shaking. It's breaking it down, right? Because you've got to be able to get different here. Venus is in your sign, though, Gemini. Keep that in mind. This is saying be gentle with yourself. Remember our harmony. Remember our sensuality. Remember our diplomacy. Remember our value, right? That's why I love this combination of energy for you this month because any of the BS that has been hiding in this 12th house, keeping you in your own way, gets the opportunity to rise to the surface so that it can be discarded so you can rediscover what you've really got going on down there because it's useful, okay? On the 16th, we've got Mars moving into Aquarius, lighting up this ninth house space for you. Mars is in that pre-retrograde time, but don't stress about it too much. This is great for action in schooling, certificates, um, philosophy, religion, teaching, broadcasting, publishing, international things, languages. So you've got some action here, and that Aquarian energy is going to want to make you get social. So you could be starting something social or launching something out there in a way that starts to represent you or take you to another public level. On the 19th, we've got Venus moving into Cancer, lighting up your second house space. So this is value. We've got value coming up now. This could even be finances. This can be your internal values. I mean, you've got a lot kicking up in this 12th house space for you. And if it's kicking around in your, your closets where all your skeletons are at, of course, you're going to need to redefine and relook at what are your values? What do you hold true to? What do you find valuable? Those are going to be big questions that I think that this Venus moving out of your sign and now into Cancer energy um, helps you to assess, but it helps you do it in a way that's not so high intelligence, like thinking yourself to death. It's more of a sensual placement experience that. Now on the 20th, the sun moves into your sign. So happy birthday. We'll start to celebrate Gemini time. You'll be ready to move and shake, but a lot more slowly this season, I think. On the 29th, we've got your relationship zone getting very interesting because the full moon's going to be happening in Sagittarius, which is your opposite, so we know it's in the seventh house. Along with that, we've got Mercury moving into Gemini, so now you're ready to speak up or communicate or make some decisions in a relationship. And with all of this information and energy happening at the beginning of the month, Gemini, as we close the month, I have no doubt you will be making some significant decision around a very important relationship in your life. It is a relationship you likely chose to be in, participate in, whether this is a business connection with someone or this is a romantic connection or a friendship connection, whatever it is, the idea is going to be that the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So this is going to to be ready for a switch of perspective and a change. So whatever it is though, I think that you will be perfectly aligned and perfectly prepared. Remember, it is okay to listen this month and do a lot less talking. It is okay to take new guidance. You don't have to have all of the answers, okay? All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Keep me posted on what's happening for you as you start to experience the shift in your radiant energy as we move through May, okay? And don't forget to get signed up for $3 Thursdays. We're going to talk about Chiron in Aries in the houses. As well, Astrology 103 is up and waiting to be booked, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you next month. Bye.